ING Media presents Between Hellos and Goodnights. This episode is titled The Game. Listener's discretion is advised as this audio series might contain suggestive dialogue. For the full binaural experience, please wear headphones. Dear Diary, it's been three days and as dawn follows night, it's only been getting better. He is always in my thoughts and now I want him always in my sight as well. Three dates in three days and if this was day four, I would be relieving a fourth incredible time. I am not quite sure what it is with this guy. He listens, but so do some other men. He talks, deeply and intelligently, but is not alone in the art of engaging conversation. He's kind. Hi there, lovely. It's been a couple of hours since I dropped you off at your doorsteps and went home in the emptiest cab I've ever been in. Which has me thinking, why is your home not mine also? Is there a thought there? LOL, mad boy. Move in together. You mean? Crazy dude. When did we start going out? You don't know I'm someone's daughter and have a family? You want my father to disown me. Besides, it isn't even official yet. (laughs) LOL. On your dad and the Rhodes clan. If you were my daughter... I would have the scalp of the man who stole you away indecently. So my bad, we will do it the proper way. But what's this about we are not official yet? We are totally exclusive, aren't we? I thought, think so. What is the right emoji? Got it. Tongue out emoji. At least... He's reasonable. About the other thing, exclusivity means nothing if you're not official. Huh? I beg. How do we become official? Help out your guy. These dating rules change with every Twitter trend. What didn't I do? You never officially asked me to be your girl, dummy. Wait. Wait, what? You know what? I'm going to call you right now. Hello? To me, Shay. What are you saying? I, I did ask you out repeatedly. I was over the moon when you said yes. So? So it's implied. After the second date or so, everyone just knows. I mean, all my guys know you already, woman. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. You spell it out. Clearly, and with a few grand gestures attached. (sighs) Okay, like flowers, dinner in a posh place the guy can't afford? See why I like you. You catch on fast. And this drama is necessary because... A woman needs her memories, my dear. Relationships will always have stress periods. 
It's at those times the lady pulls out a suitable memory of a good moment. It reignites her all over again, you know, makes her remember why she got into it in the first place, why it's still worth fighting for. <sighs> this your microwave is the busiest I know. <laughs> I agree. It works every night at least. I prefer to make my dinner in the morning. I hate kitchen stress at night. Hmm. That makes sense. Sincerely, who said women are not complicated? Me. I'm already gearing to move on to the next phase. You don't have what you don't have, Kachi. We become official first, then everything follows. Wow. Would you marry me without going down on one knee first? Come on. That's a, that's a meaningless imported ritual. Look, I am team Uncle Peter Doce. I guess you'll marry him too. And how can it be a meaningless ritual if I consider it romantic and entirely necessary? I get it. All right, I get it. You're pulling my leg, having fun at my expense, okay? Actually, I've never been more serious, Kachi. Oh. Guys need to realize that they are not dating tractors or some other machine. You say women are complicated, but from my POV, I am flabbergasted about how clueless you are with simple things. Fine. Message received. I'll take care of this here and now. To me. Apple of my eye. Will you be my girl and make me the happiest guy this side of Banana Island? <laughs> Terrible. If I ever remember this moment, not to end the whole affair sharply. So, all I said about the extras didn't make contact with that your brain. I didn't forget. It will come. This is like a deposit to hold down the assets. Do you understand? The whole point is to make one whole lasting memory, Kachi. When you're ready, come back. Hmm. And in the meantime, we are not official? Sorry. That's not fair. Hold on a second. My friend is calling me. I was supposed to call her, but let me get this. I'll get back to you in just... Which of your friends? I mean, there's Dami, there's Whitney, there's Tola, there's... Um... Priye, keep up. Oga, I know your friend's names. One friend, Dede. You have four. Last, last, I mean, I got like three, so... Yeah, and you only missed Priye, my bestie. Oh, yeah. Maybe I was doing in order of, you know, least to best, you know? Ha ha. Or maybe you're really yanking my chain tonight. But I'm rising above. Give me a second, will you? Okay. I'll be waiting, honey. How you been now? Better be good. You kept me waiting for two minutes. I'm sorry. No mind me, Jerry. I was on the phone with Kachi. <laughs> and now, who else? Why else am I calling? You were supposed to give me the download for today. Babe, spilling time. <laughs> you this girl. Gossip not they tire you. When it comes to your love life, never. You should know how happy I am that you're dating again. After all that's Austin Serere. Make your engine no knock. I mean, oil change is crucial from time to time, girl. <laughs> your hand is your dirty mouth and dirtier mind. It's my mouth, though, I beg. So, where are we? All right, it's not that exciting, yeah? We were just debating the necessity of being official. Like how? Which one is debate? Well, you didn't really say the words, you know? Wahala. So you're not official yet? Nope. I told him. And he said what? More or less that it's not necessary after two to three dates. Uh-oh, Timzy. What? Player danger. I'm sorry, girl. What? No, <laughs> that's not it at all. See, but Kachi's just clueless. He... <sighs> Which man isn't, you know? He doesn't know, that's all. Babe, there's doesn't know and then there's doesn't want to know. Not game, this do they game you, babe. Austin all over again. God forbid. No. 
Not lie. Lie, lie. Kachi is not like that at all. Was Austin or all those other jerks we've encountered in the past that type? That's the definition of player now. Then go charm the panties off you. Meanwhile, green snake under green grass. Once pesto enter Mozza, the real monster will emerge. Hmm. <sighs> you have a point, but he asked me to move in with him. Does that sound like a game to you? He did. True. How did he say it? Uh, it didn't really come out direct. Just implied it strongly. Come to think of it, he likes implying a lot. <laughs> Babe, player, trust me. Implication, Abby. I can tell you all about implications. For instance, last week I was with Umar and I implied that I needed 500k for a wig. Why else would I be straffing my papa's meat? But eight days counting, I'm yet to see alert. Now, if I had just flat out said it, at least I would know by now if he's in or out. I won't be stuck in limbo. Implication are the latest format guys they use. They imply and imply and never truly say it. Never actually commit. And we girls just interpret all sorts of crazy things upstairs. When showdown happened now, then go tell you there no talk come. It was all in your head. Hmm, PP, are you legit? I got you, babe. Now format, pure game. Just call BS on the dude and see if he won't start stammering in his native language. Babe, I have to go. It's fine. Call me afterwards, okay? No matter how late. <laughs> That was fast. Hi, Shido. Are you playing me, Kachi? Playing you? How? What? You know what I mean, mister. The game, the format. Are you just dangling me on a tread? Giving me all these coded commons without truly committing to a relationship? To me? Slow down to me. Is this about that official nonsense? It is not nonsense. My best friend thinks you're gaming me, and I am not so sure she's not right. Really? And what have I done to reinforce that? Well, you didn't ask me properly, directly, to be your girlfriend. That's a red flag. But I was going to do that 20 minutes ago. You're the one who wanted the bells and the whistles. The bells and whistles are part of the ask. I am a lady. That's how we're wired. You have to respect that. Okay, I'll go ahead and do what I should have done before, the way we guys do it. Don't you dare. Sumi Shay, will you be my girlfriend, please? I can't stop thinking about you all day and night. It's been a long time since anything felt this right. I am not the greatest guy out there. But I will be your guy. All of me. No vacations. No time off. I'll be your person every waking moment. And when you sleep, I'll sit by the angels to watch over you. To me. To me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I spoiled it for you. I should have waited. Look, I can do the bells and the whistle. Kachi, that's the most beautiful thing anyone has ever said to me. Really? You're not yeah. mad? You're, what about your memory bank? <laughs> you just made a 24 carat deficit, Kachi. <laughs> Wow, I thought I was cooked just now. And the extras, I will certainly get around to it. Why waste time with the entree when the main course is ready? You said that once, remember? 
Who needs extras when the real deal is complete in itself? Wow. I can't describe my ecstasy level right now to me. No need, boyfriend. Wow. I'm your mirror image right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, not, not to spoil the mood, but what exactly did Priye say to you? Forget it. She was wrong and I was crazy. But don't hate her, please. She was just looking out for me. Yeah, well, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Hmm. I haven't heard that one before. Friends, they're great. But you need to draw a line regarding how involved they get in and with your relationship. But my friends and I... We're, we're all over each other's affairs of the heart. Wouldn't you all be crowding it? Stifling it? Encouragement and support are fine. But I'm not sure we should be telling friends all our relationship secrets. They don't know enough always to give the best advice. And that goes for you too. You did say your friend's friend knows all about me. Yes, it goes for me too. Let's just do this thing together. We too against the world. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Sounds good to me too. Now, I know you said not to, but how about we get away one of these weekends to celebrate? Mm, I love it when my man talks big. What else did you have in mind? <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, it's the opinion of you two that truly matters. Not family, not friends. Two against the world. I couldn't have put it better. But then, that's why she's my woman. This is Between Hellos and Goodnight's audio series. This episode stars Chiwete Onyema as Kachi, Ravina as Tumishi, Fiona Davis as Priye, written by Joshua K. Ephraim, recorded and mastered by Big Hits Factory. Between Hellos and Goodnight is a production of Dot NG Media. Follow our social media pages at .ng series for more.